Hey, Riddle, so great to see you again, buddy. So I started seeing on YouTube that Kazia is banned for an event. But not the biggest events, right? It's it's one uh, promoter or organizer that's like, hey, ban Kazia. Kazia and Steve were banned. One local. And what is your take on this? Like, is Kazia overpowered or are people being bitches? A little bit of both. But, mo but mostly bitches. I, I understand that Kazuya has... Un I, again, I'm not a Smash guy. But from what I understand, Kazuya has unbelievable damage and... Uh, combo ability and stun locks. And uh, he might be top one in the game when it comes to the combo ability and how quickly he can snuff someone out. But he has uh, weaknesses, right? It's a little bit like Tekken, where he has a hard time getting close to the opponent. He's very risky with that. The approach is difficult. But once he gets in, he can literally kill you, like, immediately. So there is a character design here. And if you made a tier list of uh, Smash, the current state of Smash Ultimate... TF. Hi, TMM. Uh, where would he Hope place? you are having a great day, smile. Is he? I hear Steve is super broken. Minecraft Steve. So would, do, would those two characters be like undisputed top two in Smash? And everyone else is far behind? Because uh, when I read about Smash, I keep hearing about other characters who are also like ridiculous. Something like Mafra. Is that a character? Bafra? Shmafra? I don't know. A lot of people think Kazuya is top two, but he's really five-ish. Oh, Mafra, that's probably from Godzilla, I think. Pyra and Mifra? Okay. Pyra and Mifra. Very broken. He's Akuma in Tekken. Okay. I mean, Akuma is ridiculously strong. He's OP. But the situation you have in Tekken is that Akuma is overpowered, but he's not alone. Uh, Geese is overpowered. Zafina is overpowered. Feng... Oh, oh, sorry, I accidentally hit mute. Fengwei is overpowered. Uh... You could argue um, Julia OP, you could argue Marduk OP in my opinion, you could argue Jin OP. Um, but a lot of Tekken's balancing is uh, a thing you don't see in a lot of fighting games. Well, a lot of them don't do this type of balancing, but they balance around character difficulty. Like, if a character has exceptionally high execution, it's allowed game-breaking mechanics. Brian's taunt back four is a just frame. So most people can't do it. But if you can do it, that's a 28 frame unblockable uh, kill move at the wall. 90 damage, 28 frame unblockable. So could this be argued with Kazi and Smash? That he is godlike if you have insane mechanical skill. Is this how they've chosen to balance him? I wouldn't be surprised if this is the case because uh, uh, Smash is, of course, developed by the same developers, Bandai Namco. I wouldn't be surprised if that concept, which exists in this game with Kazuya already, carries over into Smash. Because they seem to have done a good job translating Kazuya's gameplay to Smash, which is very different to Tekken. Although Kazuya in this game... The doesn't have anywhere close to the dramatic damage he has in Smash. It, that resembles more like Tekken 5 Kazuya, who could, who could literally kill you from, from one, uh, one launch. It resembles more old-school Kazuya, or Tag 1 Kazuya, also kill from one launch.
So I feel like Smash Kazuya is like legacy Kazuya in a way. Uh, and now I missed what Riddles wrote. A lot of people think he's easy because of how broken he is, but he's actually really hard. I'm the only Kazuya in top level. Could this be... I, I know you've done so well at many events lately. Could this be a response to how well you've been doing? Is this a reaction to... Are you putting Kazuya like single-handedly on the community radar? And everyone's sort of discovering the character now and really like, Oh my god, look at Riddles coming out of nowhere. He's blowing everyone up. This must be due to the character ban. So is it like a gut reaction? So like the character hasn't been on the radar a lot. How much have people been like labbing and experimenting with the character? Because you gotta understand like Akuma for two, two and a half years was seen as mid-tier, even by the best players, even Ni, who is the greatest Tekken player of all time, was like, this is a mid-tier character. Meanwhile, in Pakistan, still an undiscovered Tekken community and Tekken region, they were all convinced he was OP due to his down two, which is a 12-frame uh, safe mid that converts to, to uh, a million damage, so... They were like, on paper, this is completely broken, how come no one is talking about this? But it's because in in their region they had the mechanical skill. Will you shut up? <laughs> Come on, man! You got it wrong for two and a half years. I must be able to discuss this, nice. right? You got it wrong, buddy. Uh, but that's how complicated Tekken is. Even the biggest brains are like you can't wrap your head around it because there are too many parameters. But the thing that happened with Akuma and Tekken is that in Pakistan, due to playing King of Fighters, they have. In Pakistan, for some reason, they have impeccable taste. Thanks, John. Impeccable taste in fighting games. They love Tekken and they love King of Fighters. And, I, and King of Fighters is widely regarded as the most execution-heavy fighting game out there. You could argue Tekken, but the reality with Tekken is that you have a huge contrast in this game. You have characters like Kazuya, and then you have characters to appease casuals, like Asuka, for example, where it's the inverse of execution. No other fighting game has a character that's as easy to maneuver as Asuka. So in Tekken, you, you have this mountain between characters and mechanical skill that you don't really see in other Master. fighting games. Oh, Jesus. Thanks, guys. Thank you. So the thing with Akuma was that in Pakistan, I think in large part to their skill with King of Fighters, they were actually, well, this is broken because we can consistently do the, the death combos. And that was not the reality yet in Europe, Korea, US. You didn't see Riksta, Punko do those death combos constantly, whereas the Pakistanis, they would staple that stuff. So to them it was obvious, but it certainly wasn't obvious to everyone else. Um, uh, but that did not lead to Akuma getting banned once we discovered he was untouched number one. He didn't get banned. So, so I don't know if the situation is like worse in, in Smash with Kazuya, but it doesn't sound like it because it seems to be only you, Riddles, right? Smoking everyone. So it might just be a gut reaction. And if there are other characters who are also problematic, why would you single out Kazuya? Well, they haven't singled him out because apparently Minecraft Steve was also banned, right? But then there's this Mithra, right? Also problematic, I guess. Again, I, I, have, I have way too little knowledge on Smash. Um, oh, Pyra. Someone mentioned someone else as well. To be fair, our Akuma did get nerfs. Smash Ultimate is just done with updates. Yes, but his, his game-breaking, system-breaking mechanics uh, are pretty much untouched. And the game-breaking, truly game-breaking mechanics of Akuma is the 2D jump. We still don't have anti-airs on, on our Tekken characters, right? Uh, he still launches from a jab, right? He still has a 50-50 that's just unlike anything we've ever seen in a Tekken game. He still has invincibility from uh, one frame. He still has, you know, it's... They, certainly they've fine-tuned the character but the truly game-breaking mechanics are still intact. They have not been changed. 
The reason why the one local tournament banned Steven Kazia, because Texas player base has a lot of those two character players. Oh, they've got a lot of Kazia players, and they get annoyed playing them. LOL. <laughs> why is he waving in my face? I, I shit myself. No one else has Kazuya banned, really, but Steve's low-key account getting banned. Uh, are, are you afraid that this is something that could carry over to other locals and larger events? Riddles? Or, or are you f feeling safe that, oh, this is going to stay in Texas? Or, or do you think this is, you know, they're the first ones to do it, they kick down the door, and now there's a chain reaction and cause you banned everywhere? Highly doubt it. Okay. To be honest, I think if a character is, like, truly broken, it, it looks like Launch Leroy and Tekken, Evo Japan, and I shit you not, in a top 8, there were 6 Leroy's. Everyone was playing Leroy. I feel like banning a character because one guy, and you're obviously insanely gifted and talented, right? You're smoking everyone. This could, couldn't this be a combination of Kazuya being really strong and you being a really, really strong player, right? I feel like if Kazuya is so easy and so OP, wouldn't everyone be playing Kazuya? Because everyone certainly played Launch Leroy. Because he was unbelievably strong and everyone had access to it because there was no... Uh, you know, no nothing was required to play him. His mix-ups and mind games were unbelievably easy. There was no strategy. And there was zero mechanical skill. There was an inverse of mechanical skill. But the character played for you, basically. Oh, you play Terry too, so you're not that scared. Okay, already a top 20-ish player with Terry Bogart, so I don't know, a lot of people are just whack. Oh, you're doing really well with Terry as well. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that your character is getting banned. And of course, our guy, uh, Kazuya. But uh, I get it, you know, if... Uh, these characters tend to get a lot of um, uh, it got, uh, a lot of people tend to focus these characters because they lead to really absurd moments. Uh, I'm sure people have been tweeting your combos in tournaments where you just yeah you hit someone once or twice and suddenly it leads to a huge combo into KO. So, it's so dramatic, but of course a lot of people talk about it. Whereas I'm sure a character that's broken in a different way, where they have amazing, like, keep out, you can't get close to me. It's just not as dramatic, right? People tend to single out the, the characters that, you know, kill very quickly. Um... Again, I don't know anything about Smash, but I feel like if Kazuya is so horribly fucking broken, wouldn't everyone be playing him? Um, so, so I don't know. The character you're thinking of is Rob. Oh, there's a Rob as well. Uh, yeah, uh, wh what I've heard about before is... Uh, basically, people talking a lot about Minecraft Steve. He's super broken. And now people mentioned uh, Ma Mithra. Uh, that one I've heard before. He's a weird fighting game character, kind of hard, and Smash players don't like inputs. Oh, uh, you're talking about Kazuya now, right? Or Terry Bogard. He's a weird fighting game character, kind of hard, and Smash players don't like inputs. Right, and then they simplified Kazuya uh, a bit for Smash, though. It's like the... I don't know how, how important the electric is to, to him and Smash. But I think it's a free, free frames input window down for it too in Smash, whereas in Tekken it's a true just frame. It's two frames, not three. Right, okay. It's bufferable, it's bufferable as well. Yeah, not in Tekken, never. Uh, also, which, uh, which makes it so difficult to punish with it, like block, 
you have to wait out the entire block animation duration. And then you hit the electric. Oh, it's and it's invincible. Well, that's pretty good. And I hear his, his wave dash is invincible as well, right? <laughs> Most people can't really do it still. Yeah, I mean, uh, e even with a two-frame uh, leniency, of course it's really strict and difficult. Like, uh, it's no joke getting a good electric in Tekken. Like, uh, mastering it on one side, from movement, sidestep, backdash, wave electric. And then it starts over on this side, right? It's, uh takes years for most people getting really good at it because there's a huge difference between your average electric and then an expert Mishima player how quickly they will electric um, or they play on a keyboard and they get that for free <laughs> but uh, yeah so I I wonder where this will go and Riddle uh, Riddles I just really hope he is not banned in any other events and that you keep getting to play your main it's just so cool to see you do well with him. Uh, so I hope you keep it up, man.